In the summer of 2010, it seemed a dynasty was in the making. After several disappointing postseason losses, superstar LeBron James decided to leave the Cleveland Cavaliers to join one of the best players in the league, Dwayne Wade, in Miami. And the face of the Toronto Raptors, Chris Bosh, was not far behind. The trio came together and sacrificed their individual talents to play team basketball, and as a result of their unselfishness, they led the Miami Heat to two straight NBA championships. However, after being handily beaten by the Spurs in the 2014 Finals, on top of the question of if Dwayne Wade's knee can hold up, LeBron James decided to return to his hometown Cleveland Cavaliers. But the organization did not fret. They signed veterans Lou Deng and Danny Granger to solidify the small forward position. And they also convinced Chris Bosh to stay by making him the sixth highest paid player in the league. But this team has a lot of questions. Is Mario Chalmers a starting point guard? Will Dwayne Wade be able to play the entire year? And even then, can he show flashes of his former greatness? Can Chris Bosh reach the level that his new salary demands? And ultimately, will the team mourn the loss of LeBron James? Or will they look to make themselves a contender? Let's find out. This is the Miami Heat My League. Hello everyone and welcome to the Miami Heat My League. The rotation we're currently using is Mario Chalmers, Dwayne Wade is at the shooting guard spot, Lou Aldang is his wingmate, Chris Bosh is at his natural power forward position, and Chris Anderson has given us about 25 minutes a game at the center spot. As for the bench, we've got Danny Granger as our sixth man, Josh McRoberts and Udonis Haslam round out our backup front court. Now the backup point guard spot is interesting. It's between Norris Cole and Shabazz Napier. And I want you guys to decide who our backup point guard is. I have no problem with either one, but who do you want? Do you want to see the rookie Shabazz Napier or Norris Cole come off the bench? Now let's talk about this team. In my opinion, our big weakness is the center position. Chris Anderson is a solid defender and rebounder, but his offensive game leaves a lot to be desired and his stamina is very low. But unfortunately, none of our other big men can really take over that spot. So we're going to have to look elsewhere. And the name that I immediately thought of was the free agent Andrew Bynum, although his durability is a question as well. But there are some other big men around the league that we could look at. As far as the trade piece, whoever loses in the point guard battle will probably be who we can move. But anyway, that's going to do it for episode one. Again, tell me, do you want to see Shabazz Napier or Norris Cole come off the bench? And are there any other moves you can think of that we can use to improve this roster?